What's that? You didn't think I could think of ten more things? Think again. Welcome to what is almost definitely the last episode of 10 Things You Didn't Know About Dark Souls. As usual, here are the rules. I'm going to tell you 10 little known, but interesting facts. If you knew everything, then leave a dislike. If you learned something new, then reward me with a like. Let's get started. Number 1. Equip the Orange Charred Ring. When you kick an enemy, you'll do a small amount of fire damage. Number 2. Use a Lloyd's Talisman on a woken up Mimic, and you'll put it back to sleep. There's a very high chance that it'll drop the headpiece, and it will definitely drop the item hidden inside. Number three is also related to mimics. Any enemy's grab attack can be escaped earlier by mashing the bumpers on your controller. You'll notice I take less damage when I do this. Next is number four, and I think I'm going to get a lot of you with this one. Use gold pine resin in the crystal caves, and it will come out blue instead. It stays blue even if you leave. Likewise, apply it outside and walk into the caves, and it will stay gold. It's weird. Number 5. The Egghead Mechanic. The Egg Burdened can infect you with a parasite. After a while you'll scratch your head and 5 minutes later you'll become Egg Burdened yourself. But did you know that the egg consumes half your souls? If you feed it 100,000 souls, then it will evolve into a larger form with a fully grown parasite. This animation will replace your kick animation, doing a bit of damage while knocking them back. And for number 6, have you ever realized how useful the spell Oral Decoy is? It can be used to expose the weaknesses of many enemies, like the Giant Knights. It's actually surprisingly useful if you're having trouble with the Capra Demon, since he'll focus on it at the expense of all else. Number 7, doesn't really need an explanation. I think they made a mistake. Number 8, isn't something a sane person would try. If you damage the Anor Londo Batwing Demon, it will fly away. The same goes for the Crow at Firelink Shrine, except the Batwing Demon returns. The Crow will not. Alright, we're up to number 9, and I'm kind of wondering, how many people knew everything at this point? Did you know that there's a short alternate cutscene for Gwendolyn if you enter as a white phantom? It's strange that they even bothered, but it's there. And here it is, number 10. It's technically three things, but let's group them under the title Rare Boss Moves. Did you know that Nito has a grab attack? I waited 20 minutes for him to do it, but it does a ton of damage. At least now you know that you have to mash those bumpers if you want to get out early. The second rare boss move I chose is the Bed of Chaos. She has this fireball attack when you're at a distance. She did it instantly here for me, but I could never get her to repeat it. And lastly, the Moonlight Butterfly will sometimes shoot a blue orb when she swaps sides on the bridge. This particularly happens when she's low on health. So did you know everything? Let me know. If you want to try and see how many things you knew out of 50, then click on the screen for the playlist and watch all 5 videos. I'd also like to take the chance to thank you guys for watching my videos. I really like making them, but reading your comments and interacting with you all is the best part of this. Thanks for sticking around. I'm looking to make the most of your viewership. I want to put more time, more effort, and more money into this. I'm not going to turn into a Let's Play channel, I'm not going to make short clickbait videos, I, I just want to give you something that you genuinely look forward to clicking every week. I expect you'll get a better idea of what I'm talking about by the end of the year, there's some cool stuff in the works. Thanks for subscribing, and thanks for being a part of this. I'll see you next time.